Does anyone else have an experience you'd want to share? Tyrone asks about his medication again, and Cynthia deflects. The conversation turns to drugs and alcohol when Tyrone instead begins talking about getting arrested for smoking a blunt. Everyone except the wallflower patient has something to say about drugs. May I say something minor? Asks Manny during a pause in the discussion. Sure, Cynthia nods. I don't mean to take up everyone's valuable time in the group. I know I don't deserve it. Thank you so much for letting me speak. Jamel sighs in frustration. You're fine, man, just talk. Thank you, thank you. It's just that I struggled with alcohol for so long, almost 40 years now, and I've been sober since getting locked up. I hope so badly that I can stay clean when I get out. He seems to be a little more comfortable now, and so continues talking. He tells us about being whipped against the wall as a seven-year-old when he didn't do a good enough job cleaning up the mess from his father's partying the night before. One morning, Manny drank one of the glasses of leftover orange juice, not realizing that it was mixed with vodka. When his hungover father found out, he whipped Manny until blood seeped through his shirt. But, Manny said, it didn't hurt as much that time because he was tipsy from the alcohol. And so from then on, he drank as much alcohol as he could get his hands on. Thank you for letting me share, says Manny. I know I'm not worth your time. I mean, I wrote these words and I'm still getting a little tearful. Um, <clears throat> Manny, says Jamel, leaning forward in his chair so he can see him clearly. You are worth it, man. You've got mad courage. You just hang on and keep going one day at a time. That's all you gotta do. Jamel looks like he's about to cry, as though no one except this psychotic patient named Jamel has ever offered him kind words. <clears throat> Antoine and Tyrone look uncomfortable with this expression of emotion, but Campbell nods in agreement. Yeah, Manny, you just gotta take it one day at a time. Think about all those days you've survived already. I glance at Cynthia to see if she is appreciating what is going on in front of us. Her eyes are wide and wet with amazement. We are witnessing a pivotal moment for Manny, perhaps for the group itself, a collective responsibility to care for someone else, and no one wants it to end.